Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life. Uh, today I think we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go into this guild office right here and I'm going to get another life. Uh, we need to start expanding our powers and all that stuff. So I'm going to here change a life. We're going to go to Taylor here. Um, we can either go to Taylor or Woodcutter. Uh, I think we can do both. We're going to do both, uh, but who do we want to start off with? Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to do Taylor for now, and the Woodcutter I'm going to do off camera, so I can... Because I know that's like a lot of um, trees and stuff, so I, I'd rather not, you know. So... We don't need to grind that all out here. Um, so we're the Taylor... Um, Okay, so we just have to go. I would have voice acted him, but I, I just rather go real quick, like over. Oh, I need to start the camera, uh, not the camera, the um, timer. Let's get that going. All right. Um, so the tailor is this way. So we want to go to the tailor. Uh, this way we can get. Ooh, that's not the tailor. So we can start that life. Get. Um, from what I understand, the tailor is the one that makes the. Um, clothing for us for our class the wizard so it's definitely gonna be very useful to get here I think after this let's play I'm going to do like my own playthrough and kind of just do every class because it is possible to do that um, so Madam Pearl yes a red oh hello there you must be my new pupil welcome welcome the guild said you'd be coming. Of course, I'm delighted to welcome a new student to the fold. My name is Pearl, and it's so nice to meet you. And that furry thing over there is Spoolie. Spoolie, this is Jock. Come say hello to him. Spoolie, are you listening to me? Oh, a stitch in time stays nine. Oh, Spoolie sues with cat and twine. It sews, I know, I made a mistake. To make love to things for Madam Pearl. And she'll say thank you, dear, that's fine. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? He's all wrapped up in his work and his singing. I don't even think he heard me. Spoolie and I will try and teach you everything that the proper tailor ought to know. You can skip the introductory quest and just update your license if you want. Continue with the quest? Yeah, why not? Well, to learn to sew, one must sew. So. Let's get you straight to work. Here, take this. Obtained a training needle. Aw, oh, yeah. Take good care of your needle, young lad. It's a tiny tool, but a powerful one. You'll be amazed by what you can create using that little silver of metal and some thread. Well, I think you must be ready to tackle an assignment, Jock. Let's start with some nice and easy. How about some making some dandelion cotton for me? Oh, dear. I almost forgot to give you the pattern. That's the most important part. Yay! You'll need dandelion puffs for the cotton. You can either buy them or forage for them. If you want to know the best place to find materials, just ask Spoolie. But you'll have to wait for him to finish singing. There's no stopping him when he gets like this. Fluttering Taylor! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, we're gonna ask him. Patterns, pockets, pappin' and bleats! Fold it down here, then I in the crates. <laughs> Taylor's a tailor, not, surely not a sailor. She taught Spoolie how to sew. And I sew and sew my paws a whirl to finish up this project for Madam Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Spoolie didn't see you there. Who are you? Are there Daniel Blind puffs in your ears, Spoolie? We've been talking to you. This is Jock. I told him he was coming. I told you he was coming, remember? Oh boy, this must be the new pupil. Spoolie's so happy to meet you. Did Madam Pearl give you a needle? That's all you need to get started sewing. Spoolie bets that Spoolie knows what she asked you to make first. Dandelion cotton. And that means you're gonna need some nice, plushy dandelion puffs. Spoolie knows just where you can find some. Ask Spoolie's friend Taylor outside the chapel. Taylor is an easy name to remember. She's a Taylor who's named Taylor. <laughs> But in case you can't remember, Spoolie will go with you. This will be fun. Spoolie, I hate to rain on your parade, but it looks like you still have a lot of work to do. Oh no, Madam Pearls is right. Spoolie will stay right here until Spoolie finishes work. Good luck, be careful. I'm a mage. I don't have to worry. 
I wonder if I can still use my powers. That's a question. That's definitely a question. I don't know. Well, let's go find Taylor the Taylor and give her a uh, get whatever we need from her. I, I don't really know. <laughs> to create, create, increase the SP, because we run out of it really quickly. Oh, hello. You must be Jock. What makes you, which makes you that talking flying, talking butterfly people won't stop yammering about. I thought the butterfly would be bigger. I'm Beth, by the way. Do me a favor and take these. Wait, what? Beth, we're looking for Taylor. I think we made a mistake. They're good if you ever need an SP booth boost. By the way, I've got many of them. Glad to see you can take them off my hands. Alright, I'll be seeing you then. Wait, we wanted to ask you something. Well, okay, but make it quick. We'd like to ride a horse. Yes, who wouldn't? Riding is one of the most liberating and exciting activities a person can undertake. It's a good workout and it gets you from A to B. But I actually don't have time to talk the finer points of riding a with a butterfly. So you two have a good one. Take care. What if we proved our worth with some horse, horse puns? Oh, do you know some? No, but we really want a horse. Well, alright, if you're serious, I can give you the rundown. A horse, is a horse is useful as it lets you get around quickly without draining your SP. If you dismount one, t one and leave it, it will eventually make its way back home. Oh, is it? Well, if you say so. Each horse is trained to return to the stables here if left alone. These horses sound like they're all business. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try, Jacques. How about we get our wings on one of those, Beth? Cool your wings there, Butterfly. I don't lend these horses out to just anyone. If you don't have enough bliss, you don't ride one of my babies. And if I don't know if Jock here is ready. What do you mean? It could be dangerous riding a horse if you don't have enough bliss. Horses can sense things, see? They need a happy, confident, and comfortable rider. I've seen a lot of folks with low bliss levels get bucked straight into the manure pile. Gross. How would you like to be cleaning that stuff out of your wings? So that's why I don't lend them to people who don't have enough bliss in the first place. At some point, you can buy your own personal horse if you rack up enough bliss, though. Once you get your own horse, it won't run back to the stables whenever you dismount. And we'll even let you name it. Quite a bonus! Oh, that sounds great. I want my own horse. If you want to rent a horse from our stables, just talk to our staff member over there. Enjoy! Don't get discouraged if it's hard to get the hang of it at first. Just try to be one with the horse. Cool. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I was looking for Taylor. So we're gonna actually keep going. <laughs> and get that done. Um, that was a mistake. I thought I thought it was pointing to her and I saw like the arrow. I, I don't know what I was doing really. Um, and it looks like Taylor's right over here. Patterns, pockets, piping, and pleats. Fold it down here and iron the crates. crease. Uh, I thought singing would cheer me up, but it's not working. Why, oh why did I take that stupid assignment? I'll get in big trouble if I can't finish it in time, plus everyone will be mad at me. Ah! You just gave me a heart attack. I didn't think anyone was standing there. My name's Taylor, sorry for screaming like that, I'm a little jumpy right now. Oh, I get it, you're a Taylor-to-be. Madame Pearl's been talking about you non-stop. She's so excited to have another pupil. Hmm, another pupil, maybe you can help me with- Oh, never mind. What was I thinking? You still have so much to learn. You know what? Ignore what I just said. Hey, I think I saw- Hey, you in the bushes, come out here! Whoever does your- Especially Spoolie. Spoolie's not here! Spoolie, I know it's you. Nope. S no spoolie here! There's no point in hiding! I know your squeaky voice anyway. Squeaky? Oh no, that's not what we have. You caught spoolie! Spoolie, what are you doing sneaking around like that? You're supposed to be working. 
But tail has been so sad, Spoolie wanted to turn Tyler's frown upside down. Well, I'm not sad, not at all. <laughs> You're just imagining things. But Taylor's always running around with a mopey face. Busy, busy, Taylor. <laughs> I said I'm fine. Now get back, your, get yourself back to the workshop before Madame Pearl notices that you're gone. Taylor is okay. Spoolie will run along now. Run along, Spoolie. Oh, and please don't tell anyone Spoolie was here, Druck. Don't worry, Spoolie. He doesn't strike me as the gossipy type. My phone, damn it. And Spoolie, thanks for your concern. It's nice to know someone's worried about me. Taylor. Taylor is very welcome. Hop, 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 hop. Spoolie just has. Spoolie just has one more thing to to say to you, Taylor. The Taylor. If you need help, you should talk to Madam Pearl. She's the wisest human Spoolie knows. Madam's pearls of wind. Ha ha. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, Spoolie, Spoolie, Spoolie. Thanks for keeping your lips zipped about what I was talking about earlier. Now what can I do for you? Oh right, you probably need some dandelion puffs. Madame Pearl always starts out her new pupils on dandelion cotton. It's a good basic cat pattern. You can find dandelion puffs growing all over the suburbs. They're everywhere. But there's no need for you to go foraging for materials. I can just give you these. We got two! Hallelujah! Good luck learning to sew, and please, don't tell Madame Pearl I was wearing, okay? Um, map. <gasps> All right. Well, we can't really transport ourselves there yet, so we have to kind of do this the hard way. Oh, oh, wrong way. Eh, I guess it didn't matter. Hello, random robed guy that we're going to eventually talk to. <laughs> and I think wood cutting is the only other thing that we want to do, really. Maybe maybe food food could be useful, I think. Oh. Wait, where am I going? Oh, up here. And it looks like Hanawa Cave is cleared now, so we can go in there and finish that off. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to go get our... Uh, license, I guess. We're just gonna f we're gonna make the pattern first, probably. Oh, welcome back. You have nice materials you need. Very nice, very nice. Spoolie was right here the whole time you were gone. Yes, right here. Okie dokie. Time to start the challenge. Go stand in front of the workbench and let's make some dental hand cotton. Is your needle equipped? Better equip it. Equip it. Okay. Cool. Okay. Mash A. Press A. Gotcha. Okay. Not bad. So I have to equip this. I guess I can't equip it through here? Wait. How do I equip things again? How do I equip things? Oh, gear. Okay. There we go. This is the tailor's workbench. Choose a pattern. I'm oh, gonna select an item to craft. Dandelion cotton. You need two dandelion puffs. Be Gwen. Be Gwen. Okay, this is gonna be hard, I think. I have a feeling. Oh, cool. Oh my god. 
I wonder how good that was. That was probably not very good. Dandelion Cotton Complete. Experience, plus five. That was fun! I can dig that. I dig that. That's actually a lot of fun. Finished already? Let me take a look! Oh, you've done a fine job! Straight stitches, nice lines, no puckering, well done! You seem to be tailor-made for this life. <laughs> and it's not an easy life, let me tell you. A good tailor is diligent and precise. Sewing sounds simple, but a lot goes into it, from gathering materials to the final stitch. I think you're finally ready for a real assignment. Exciting, huh? Now, there's another student of mine in Castell. Jock, meet Taylor from in the front of the chapel. Oh. How do you know that, Spooly? Were you at the chapel as well? Oh, no, Spooly's was right here, whole time. But Taylor loves to sew in front of the chapel. Yeah, I suppose that tr that's true. It's true, eh? Well, no matter what I meant to say is that Taylor just stopped by with a friend of hers. Spooly, Miss Taylor? No fair, Spooly was too busy watching Jock work. She needs some help making a certain item. Here, let me show you. Ooh, it's so fancy. Such a lovely garment. I've got Spoolie working on a task right now, so I'd like you to take on this assignment, Jock. I'm sure you'll do a bank-up job. Spoolie's got faith in you, Jock. Do it for Spoolie. Why don't you go speak with Taylor to find out more about this assignment? Now, if I recall, Taylor and her friend Zippy were heading over to Zippy's shop. That's over in the Castell Square. I'm sure you can find them there. Zippy's shop is a clothing sign out front. You can't miss it! We're gonna try and remember that. Off you go, then. Blacksmith Master? Carpentry Master? Not bad. I have to look up to see like what each class like really does, you know, and like what we can make and what we can like look forward to making maybe, um, how we get patterns. I'm sure we'll learn how to get patterns. Um, ooh, this is it. It's right there. Oh, cool. Castell Fashion Boutique. Zip, zip, zip. Hey, it's you again. New kid on the block, right? I'm glad Madame Pearl sent you to help us. That's a real testament to your tailoring skills. So thanks for coming. With any luck, you'll help. You'll get us out of a real jam. You see, Zippy and I were hired to make new curtains for the castle. Oh, you haven't met Zippy. Here she is. She runs this shop. Ha! Nice to meet you, Jacques. We're so stoked to get you on the cur get the curtain job from the castle. I mean, it's every tailor's dream. But that's a big castle, and we need cast and big castle needs a lot of curtains. It's all we do day and night. If things keep t going like this, we'll have to start turning down orders from our regular customers. But Madame Pearl's a clever one. She figured out how we can do all the jobs. She told us to call on her students for help. So I guess that means you, Jack. You're a real sport for helping us out, Jack. We need you to make a fluffy, fluffy ribbon top. I'm sure you can do it, Jack. The pattern may look a little complicated, but it will be a breeze with me helping you. For this pattern, you'll need fluffy. You'll need dandelion cotton and fluffy ribbon. It looks like you already made some dandelion cotton, Doc. But it's, if it's not enough, I've got a friend down at the market who can hook you up. It's the fluffy ribbon that's troubling me. Yeah, that stuff's not easy to find. Maybe you can ask one of the shopkeepers for help. Good plan. Let's hit the market. Come on, Jack. I'll teach you some tricks of the trade. Yeah. yeah. I should take her to the fields. Okay, so go to the merchant. Boom. Ba -da -ba -ba. Um, okay, we're gonna go this way. See the cloth merchant in the artisan district, though. Distrito! Ah, hello. Shopkeeper, we don't need to voice act this guy. Haven't seen your face around here, you must be a new tailor. Huh, that's kind of funny. You're the second second new tailor I've met today. Well, new to Castell at least. And who's that behind you? Well, if it isn't Taylor. Hi there, yes, this is the new tailor in training. That's what I like to hear. So, what's on your shopping list today? Well, we've got an ur urgent assignment, but I'm worried we're going to run out of dandelion cotton. Can't let that happen, can we? Here you go. Whoa, he just gave it to us? 
Thanks a bunch. You always just got you always got just what I need. I'm looking for. This one's on the house today, Taylor. Oh, I can't let you do that. Sure you can. You know the best way to win over a new customers to give them free stuff. Maybe when you're done with your big assignment, this guy will come back for more supplies. Gotcha. Thanks. Oh, there was one other thing. Do you have any fluffy ribbon in stock? Fluffy ribbon, hmm? That's not an item we see out here around around here often. Seriously? Seriously. Not many people know the pattern for fluffy ribbon, so we rarely have it stock. I always thought you had to buy it ready-made, but if there's a pattern we can follow... Well, there's a pattern alright, but it's pretty tricky. Working with ribbon is a real challenge. It's not a pattern for the faint of heart, is what I'm saying. You need a highly skilled tailor. The, the only highly skilled tailor I know is Madame Pearl, but I can't ask her. I mean, I'm already borrowing her pupil, I can't ask her to do my assignment for me. Wait a sec, I know someone else you can ask. Really? Who? This fancy pants tailor from Puer Port Puerto. He was just here a few minutes ago, but no matter where he came from, he sure dropped some serious dash here. <laughs> he only bought some high quality. He bought some high quality stuff too. No flimsy fabrics or anything. Yes, definitely a top tailor. I think he said he was heading off to forge for for woolly materials. You know where wool comes from, don't you? Kind of fluffy. Says bah. Why not ask this mystery tailor to help you? He only just left. I'm sure you can catch up to him. We'll do that. Thanks so much. Let's go, Jacques. Uh, do you know where sheep hang out? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop it there, because it's been 20 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, I hope to see you guys at the next episode. So, peace.